Hey guys, how y'all doing today? My name is Franchise Fanatic, and welcome back to the channel. And today, if you guys, is a massive kind of, uh, well, unboxing haul video. This is going to be a uh, Lego Star Wars, just Star Wars in general haul that I got for Christmas. So I just wanted to kind of make this little intro before we start. Um, I'm not trying to say, look how rich I am, look at all the cool crap I got. I just, honestly, I got this stuff for Christmas, and I said, screw it. I'm Franchise Fanatic, you guys know I love Star Wars. I got the shirt, so I figured I might as well, you know, unbox some of it for uh, for you guys. So again, I'm not trying to flex, be like, oh, get all the money, because I, I don't, trust me, I'm not Mr. Beast. But still, hope that you guys enjoy the video. Again, leave a like, leave a comment down below also which stuff you have, and if you enjoyed the video, again, we're going to go on to the Star Wars haul right now. I just wanted to make this little intro, so we'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so here is the first item. This is from, of course, Star Wars The Force Awakens. Kylo Ren, pretty friggin' cool. It's a Kenner toy, 4+, plus. I don't really know why this is offered for 4+. Plus. Uh, what do I know? But still, so we're going to be unboxing this, and be, some of it I'm probably going to be jacking it up, but, uh, you know, I really don't have too many of these guys, um, so it's kind of funny. So here you have the uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber, the hilt, which I'm not going to, you know, maybe let's, start, let's try. Will that even focus? I don't know. But there's his hilt. You get the picture. You know what his hilt looks like. I'm going to keep that there, and then here is his cross-bladed lightsaber that I also have, uh, you know, from Galaxy's Edge, which is pretty cool. Plus, you know, I have the costume. <clears throat> you do the voice, so I guess, you know, some authenticity, Disney, Lucasfilm, if you want to hire me. Uh, so here, that is right there. Pretty cool. Again, I don't really have too many of these. I'm going to put his lightsaber right here on the side. Put this stuff over here. But here he is, looking pretty cool. Uh, you know, I, look, it's cool. You know what I mean? Like It's not like, oh, I need all of them. But for a little toy like this, it's pretty, uh, pretty you know, well designed. You got that. I'm not... Uh, showing his feet right there. So there's his feet right there. You know, he's got the, the cloak and all that. Looking pretty awesome. So there is the Kylo Ren toy. Uh, you know, and now we're going to move on to the second, which is also another kind of Kenner toy like this uh, from the sequel. So we'll see you guys in a second when I have that. But right now, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here is another one. This is from my favorite movie of all time, The Last Jedi. As you guys know, this is an elite Praetorian guard. Again, Kenner, as I said, pretty awesome stuff. They have a lot of stuff here. They got Captain, or they got a Imperial Stormtrooper, Captain Phasma, Lano Calrissian, Chewbacca, uh, Salette Murray, that dude, I don't know. Is that canon? I have no freaking clue who that guy is. Um, so, yeah, we're going to unbox this. I wish they kind of came with a little stand. They don't, uh, which, you know, a bit of a shame. I don't really have that many Praetorian Guards, which I think are really cool. Praetorian Guards are freaking awesome. And, uh, again, I really wish it would have came with a stand so they're not flopping and, you know, falling down all the time. But... Uh, that hand does not, let's see, will that even fit his hand? Jeez. Oh, man. I don't think that's going to fit. Wait. Nope. Whatever. So there is that. You know, I'm going to cut. <laughs> I'm going to look at a freaking moron. I can't get it in. I can't get it in. All right, so there is the Praetorian Guard. It took me a minute, but, uh, you know, we got it. So, and it's funny, in the picture, it shows, like, a scene from the movie, which, is, you know, because the hands are really... Uh, not good, you know, they're not like Lego where you can just stick anything in their hand. Still very cool, though, to have Kylo Ren and the Praetorian Guard here. I'm going to pose them later and put them on my dresser. Still very cool to have. You know, I don't have too many, but I thought I would get these two because, you know, they're pretty freaking cool. So, Alrighty, so here is Star Wars The Black Series, which is kind of like a big thing for a lot of Star Wars fans. I don't have too many. In fact, this is probably the first one I have. Uh, this is different from the Kenner, which is Kylo Ren and Praetorian Guard. Of course, this is Jedi Master Luke Skywalker from the sequel trilogy. More or less, you know, the end of The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi, because, you know, in The Rise of Skywalker, he's a uh, Force ghost. But still, I'm going to try my best to open this without uh, cutting. Uh, and you know what? We're going to cut because there's tape. So we'll see. we'll see you guys in a second, because I'm not going to have you suffer through me trying to open this thing like a heathen. So we'll see you in a second. All right, so this is, of course, Jedi Master Luke Skywalker. Pretty cool, you know, the pretty uh, posable arms, I guess, which is really nice. No lightsaber, of course, nothing like that, but it is still really cool to have one of my favorite. Actually, Luke Skywalker is my favorite character in all of franchises. Uh, I don't know if you knew that, but uh, yeah. Just because, you know, original trilogy, sequel trilogy, Luke is this guy right here, my favorite character in all of uh, media. So very cool stuff here. Very awesome. And, uh, you know, they have another toy, especially my favorite character from my favorite movie franchise, favorite trilogy, Pretty awesome. So we're going to set him down next to the bad guys, and they'll, uh, they'll duke it out while we go to the next toy here. All right, guys, so this is the final of the Black Series here. This is, of course, Supreme Leader Snoke from the sequel trilogy, or, you know, Palpatine, I guess, but still one of my favorite villains in all of franchises, and, of course, Star Wars as well. And uh, the throne room scene is my favorite action scene of all time. Kind of a trend here, but uh, very cool. I actually saw this toy at uh, Downtown Disney when I went... Uh, to uh, Disney last year, and that was pretty cool. I also saw it and bought two. Uh, I cost, you know, I got this one from the exchange. Very cool stuff here. I like that a lot. Really cool little bio here. The shadowy commander of the First Order, all that. 
uh, just kind of tell us a little about him. You guys know a little about him. So I'm actually going to cut because me trying to cut in this thing is probably going to be a little awkward. Um, so we'll see you guys in a second when at least some of it's all done. But I mean, this is pretty freaking cool. I mean, come on. I mean, those things were cool, but this thing is really awesome. So I can't wait to unbox this. Really looking forward to it. So let's get into it. All right, here we go. It's funny. A lot of people do unboxing videos and they don't actually take it out of the box. I actually destroyed the box uh, with the force. So... That's done. Uh, so here is that. Dude, so freaking cool. Look at that. You've even got the, uh, I mean, I kind of jacked it up, but it's got the, the throne room in the back. This is cool. I'm going to actually use my scissors here and cut this open. But I just wanted to show you real quick how cool this thing looks, uh, you know, out of the box. I mean, that, that's pretty sick. So we'll see you guys in a second again when I have this all cut up uh, and, you know, put together. All right, guys, so here is Supreme Leader Snoke. I'm not necessarily out of the box because, as you can see, this right here is like his little throne room stand, which I'm going to keep. Um, and you can actually kind of, you know, take Snoke out of the chair. He's not stuck in there, but I'm going to keep him out. It took me a while to get him in there. Um, and then, of course, I, you know, I put the Praetorian Guard, Kylo Ren. And if you zoom out, um, I don't know if you saw it in the very beginning of this shot, but I have uh, Luke Skywalker right there. So a little cool scene I set up. Very cool. Uh, I didn't really realize I could even do that until I was filming, and I'm like, oh, I, I got... People from the exact same uh, trilogy, which is kind of dope. So still, very cool. Snoke looks freaking awesome, man. That thing's really sick. It's going to look great up in my bedroom. It's still, uh, you know, on my dresser, but very cool stuff. And to end this video, er, end this video, we're still going. To end this uh, segment, we have one more before we get into some Lego Star Wars. The one and only... <coughs> Jar Jar Binks. <coughs> All right, there you go. All right. Let's uh, cut here, and then I'm going to... See, I don't want to move this stuff. Anyway, uh, very cool stuff. We're going to move on to Lego Star Wars, and that'll be it. So we'll see you guys in a second. Just had to show off Jar Jar. It's more of a dog toy, I think, but whatever. It works. All right, so moving on to Lego Star Wars. As I said, we have the AT-AT or at, -AT versus Tauntaun Microfighters coming in at 205 pieces with Luke Skywalker and an AT-AT driver. Very cool stuff here. Uh, now that I actually have more room, as you guys have been seeing on my community tab, I took some pictures of my shelf. Um, looks really sick, so now I can actually build this, which is really cool. Nothing massive, but you know, it is kind of cool to see a Tauntaun battling an AT-AT uh, with, of course, Luke and a uh, driver for an at, at Very cool stuff there, just had to show that. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll build it for the channel one day, who knows, so pretty cool stuff. Alright, this is an 18 plus Lego Star Wars Darth Vader helmet, which is really cool, clocking in at 834 pieces. I already have Boba Fett, and I have, I think, Iron Man, I have... Uh, uh, what do we have? Uh, Venom and, and you know, something, uh, I think a Batman or something like that. Uh, but this is uh, the second Star Wars one I have, which is really cool. Darth Vader. Uh, really, really interesting. It's got some still pictures from the uh, original trilogy, which is really sick. Uh, really, really, uh, you know, I think this is one of the best uh, Lego models that they made in terms of like the 18 plus helmets. I think that some of them look kind of wonky, especially Batman, but in terms of Star Wars, this one looks really cool. And I hope they make a Kylo Ren one. So, Darth Vader, very cool stuff there. Alrighty, so next we have another LEGO Star Wars 18 Plus hel uh, helmet, I guess, which is a Scout Trooper, which is a 471, so almost about half of Darth Vader, which is pretty crazy. Uh, again, from the original trilogy, very cool stuff there. Let's turn this around here so I can show you the back. That's on him uh, on a little angle, and then we have some pictures from Return of the Jedi when they're on the forest moon of Endor. Very cool stuff there. Uh, you know, it's really neat that they have, I think they have a Stormtrooper, which is really cool. Um, I, I do have that one, but, you know, I didn't get it for Christmas, so it doesn't really count for the Christmas haul, but I am going to build that one soon, so don't worry, that one's coming up. But uh, very cool stuff there, so that is the Scout Trooper. All right, so this is not a helmet, but this is an Imperial Probe Droid clocking in again, 18 plus at 683 pieces from the original trilogy, more or less Hoth uh, from The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 5. You can see a little bit of snow on the ground there, which is really cool. Turn it around, there's a different view, and there's even some still pictures there of when Han Solo shot that thing down. Uh, with this blaster at the beginning of episode 5. Very cool. You know, it's not a helmet, but it still is really neat that they actually chose to do that. Um, you know, there was a probe droid in uh, New Hope when, the, you know, they torture Leia, I guess. But still, as you know, you casually do. Very cool stuff there, so I can't wait to build that one. How much is this again? Uh, 683, so a little bigger than the last one. Pretty cool, though. We got one more Lego set, uh, which I didn't even know this was coming up. All right, so I meant to say coming out. Uh, <laughs> the Darth Vader Meditation Chamber. I didn't even know this was out in the stores when I got it. 18 plus, 663 pieces. Uh, this one's really cool. You know, again, it's not a helmet. It's more of a Lego set, so to speak, than like a, a Marvel bust or, you know, Lego piece bust. But still very cool. Of, of course, this is, I believe, from The Empire Strikes Back uh, when Darth Vader is, like, kind of watching his, I guess, Star Wars TV or whatever the fudge is going on there. Uh, and his little, like, dome 
meditation chamber. Uh, very cool stuff there. Again, it kind of shows the uh, scenes from the film again. Uh, I like that it even comes with a little picture of the, you know, the screen, which is very cool. So again, uh, I don't know if I'm going to build all of these for YouTube, but I'm going to build some of them. So, you know, I have a lot of stuff coming on right now with, uh, you know, tributes and Lego Batman 2 gameplay, but still very neat. So uh, I'm going to show you guys a big shot of all of it. And then, uh, you know, we'll close out the video, but still, I think this is really cool to, uh, you know, have, like I said, I didn't even know this was a real set. So I'm very glad I got this one and I will be building this for YouTube soon. So look forward to that. Not, you know, quick, but it'll be coming up, so don't worry. All right, guys, so here it is all complete. This is everything I unboxed. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm going to be building some of it, but not all of it, uh, for the Lego, or for, you know, YouTube, the Lego Star Wars stuff at least. I really enjoyed everything, you know, so here's a little quick shot again. We got some Darth Vader. Uh, we got a Scout Trooper on top here. Going back down, we got Jar Jar Banks, Lego Star Wars, little Tauntaun at at Imperial, uh, not the Imperial, the uh, Meditation Chamber, Probe Droid, and of course the Snoke Praetorian Guard, Kylo Ren, and Luke Skywalker toys. Hope you guys enjoy this little unboxing slash Christmas Star Wars haul. I know it's a little late from Christmas, but, you know, I wanted to do it for a while, and I figured it'd be a pretty good time to do it. So again, tell me in the comments down below which ones you have, which ones you want. Again, very lucky to get these, and I can't wait to build some of them for YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys, and we'll see you in the next video.